All right, guys. Good morning. Happy Monday. I wasn't sure I was going to do any meal prep, and then I just decided I wanted to. Um, mostly because I want to use up these flour carb wraps. I so much would just rather have the whole wheat ones or the zero net ones, the little mini ones I have. So I'm going to go ahead and use these up and prep up some breakfast burritos. I think I'm going to try to make six and just freeze them and eat on them this week. So I have some of this Mexican style cheese from Aldi. Look at all those yummy cheeses. Quesadilla cheese, um, Monterey Jack, cheddar. The wraps I'm gonna use, I have some red pepper that I keep in the freezer. I just thawed out and I don't mind my messy stove, I'm so sorry. Um, sauteing up some red pepper. I'm gonna use eggs i don't know how many six so i'll probably use six wraps i'll probably use three eggs i have one ounce of pepper uh red pepper cooking and then i have bacon i don't feel like doing sausage ones typically i like red pepper and sausage together but this is just what i have to work with today all right everything is cooked up so I have an ounce of red pepper between four, one egg each, two ounces of bacon by four, one wrap each, and two ounces of cheese divided by four. I will calculate all this up. Um, this will probably be two days worth of breakfast burritos because I will definitely eat two of these because I already know this is going to be good. I'm going to roll these up and then kind of sear these to kind of lock them in and give them a little bit of a, a crispy shell. And then we will wrap these in um, saran wrap and then put them in a freezer bag and pop them in the freezer. And then they just microwave for like 45 seconds and then they're good to go. Guys, this is pitiful. I don't know what this does. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but these are barely held together. So I'm going to do this. I saw somebody do this once. I guess it's kind of sealing. I don't know. We're going to see. Like, this is, this is so bad. They're not pretty. But you know what? They're done, and it's something quick and easy to uh, grab and heat in the microwave and eat on the go. <laughs> All right, next up, while I have the burritos back here cooling <laughs> um they look awful by the way but you know what it's okay <laughs> i went ahead and made some trail mix bags i haven't actually done this in a while but these are really nice to kind of have on hand so i used one packet of the atkins chocolate peanut candies i absolutely love these i always have these on hand i used a serving of um the Lily's Milk Chocolate Bar. Um, I usually have like just, just chocolate chips, but I don't have any just regular chocolate chips. I have like the raspberry white chocolate and then I have like um, the unicorn ones. So I had a bar of just the regular, so I went ahead and cut this up and this is, this is what one serving looks like. There's three servings per bar, so it's about 10 pieces in each bag. I used a fourth of a cup of my Sola ooh, vanilla almond granola. My oven's ready. And then I used a fourth of a cup of the Kashi cinnamon vanilla cereal. And these are just nice. I have pre put these into my carb counter. And I'm going to wrap my burritos. And then I'm going to get prepping um, some chicken in the oven. So very, very productive Monday. I'm happy. I love it. And I need to wash my berries and stuff too. But two bags of kind of granola trail mix ready to go. I was going to do my real good foods, um, bacon wrapped, cheese stuffed chicken, but I have these from Aldi and I'm going to go ahead and use these. These are pepper jack, Swiss, and bacon stuffed chicken. So there's two per box. I'm going to do both boxes. Bake this for 45 minutes at 375. And then to reheat them, I'm just going to just pop them in the air fryer for a while since I'm going to go ahead and pre-cook them. But let's get these guys cooking. Here is what they look like. I'm going to pop these 
in the oven and start washing some of my fruit. The chicken is done. Oh, it, it smells really, really good. I can really smell the pepper jack cheese. I think this guy is leaking though. So I'm gonna try to scrape the cheese in the container that I put that one in. But yeah, chicken is all done. Fruit is put away and rinsed. And uh, it's 12.04 and I really haven't eaten anything today. So I might make myself a lunch, but yeah. I think this is it for the meal prep today. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I wanna eat on this week. I'm gonna look out, like lay everything out. Um, because I do have a meal plan. So I'll show you guys the snackage and meal ideas this week. But I mean, the last video that you saw at the grocery haul, I had the meal plan, but here I'm gonna actually show you everything so snack wise anyway <laughs> all right and really quickly i'm going to insert this clip in before i end off this video but i cooked up a bag of a whole bag of these cauliflower spicy ish tenders i've had these before these are really really good i actually ate about three of them it <laughs> this is all that it had like bitty little pieces like half the size of this little nub in here in here I, I snacked on those too but had about three pieces I made like buffalo ranch wraps out of them so so good I'm gonna save the rest of these and I just wanted to insert this because I also prepped this up for the next week um my meal prep you know everything will last me the week I'm not gonna eat all of the dirty keto snacks all in like a group of like two days um is it possible it's possible but then it's done like i'm trying to really eat what i have and portion out like have a good snack like every couple of days but anyway i thought i would insert this clip and now you'll see uh everything all laid out except for this bit here this is kind of what I'm planning on eating on this week. Obviously, this isn't everything, but I find that kind of planning things and setting things aside really helps me. I actually have like a little basket in the pantry of like snacks and things. So I have a couple of built Bars. I keep these in the freezer. I went ahead and got these out to put in the fridge to kind of thaw out. My ultimate favorite, number one, is the coconut bill bar it tastes just like almond joy it's fantastic i have my trail mix i have this keto cookie mix that i'm gonna try this is the doritos smart food popcorn i opened the bag and had some this is actually really good it has a bit of a, like a spicy bite to it um i put it in some big ziploc bags just to kind of save the freshness but portion portion out that there's a little Chalk Zero, little Atkins, little Quest, little snacks. I want to do uh, halloumi wraps one day this week, like halloumi and bacon. So, so good. My breakfast burritos that I prepped up. This is the chicken that I cooked up. I have my berries. I have a yogurt here set out, and then I have some drinks. I I'm gonna make some protein coffees this week. I need to really start drinking like my Alani new in bangs. So I have two bangs that I pulled out to put in the fridge. Some green beans with a dinner and then some tuna. Like I said, this is not everything, but a lot of this I'm gonna put like in my drawer and eat on and I'm already starting to eat on some blackberries. But yeah. So, sorry. Um, I'm gonna film what it, yeah, I filmed today. I had um, a ham sandwich for lunch. <laughs> um, and some of that popcorn it was really good. But um, yeah, I'm going to film what I eat this week. So come along. It'll probably be the course over like two videos, but I'll start that tomorrow. Um, I'm actually quite tired today. It's one o'clock. I'm going to clean up the kitchen. 
put all this away and uh, go get in in a little bit from school.